just going to do a little tutorial on how to take apart your brother overlocker. Mine is a 3034D. Um, I think a lot of them are similar in the brother range. Um, so just going to take you through the steps that I did because it's a bit tricky. All right. Um, so down here, you'll notice that I have written down all of the screws that I've taken out and stuck them to the paper so that I know exactly what goes back into where because sometimes they're like one millimeter difference and if you put it back in the wrong spot you will break your machine now I've also I've already taken off the base plate um, and I'll show you where I did that and these are the tools that I'm using so just a, a small Phillips head screwdriver um, an Allen key so if you've got a whole set so you can find the right one and I also needed a really small screwdriver for one of them um, it is a Phillips screw but I just used a flat head because that's all I had all right, so I'm going to take you around and show you some of the ones that I took out. So underneath here, there's a screw you need to take out. I actually don't know if you need to take out all of these, but I did. Um, so here's another screw that you need to take out. Um, there's another screw in there. Focus on that. That you need to take out. This is the tricky one down here. This is the light um, a screw that you need to take out. So this one I had to use the really small screwdriver because this thing here gets in the road. All right, what else did I take out? So there's another one on this side. Um, and I don't think there was any others at the back there. Around, oh, there's also, there's another one just in here, right in the center of the screen there. Okay, and when you open up this part, there's another screw that holds this piece on just in there. Okay, put that to the side. Okay, so here is the underneath. I've already um, taken all these pieces off, so I've just got them sitting in there in place just to show you what I did. Um, so there is four screws down here with a feta that you need to take off. And there's two screws right here, which is a uh, metal plate. And that's what actually, along with the one inside, gets this one off. Okay, you take that off. And then you can just take this whole panel off. Okay, and that's what it looks like underneath. Obviously I have a huge amount of dust and um, everything in there so I'm going to um, get a well you can either use a vacuum cleaner which is a little bit dangerous or an air can to ch -ch 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 get rid of all the um, debris in there okay I think that is all the screws um, I did I was thinking that I needed to get one that's in there I don't know if you can see that but there's a screw all the way down the back there if I can zoom in no can't see that one um, but I thought that I initially needed to take that out, but my screwdriver wasn't long enough. But luckily, it looks like I don't have to. Okay, you'll also be able to take off this piece once you've got those side screws out. So let's take that one off. Okay, now, let's spin this around a little bit. So you see this seam here? Oh, there's also um, the arm needs to be taken off, sorry. So this is what's broken in mine the arm so the arm actually sits on here underneath there there's a little screw so you can take the arm off so what i'm fixing is um the arm stopped maneuvering the foot up and down um and which meant that i couldn't turn this more than one revolution um so i couldn't even sort of you know just keep sewing so we're opening it up to take a look okay so now i'm going to try and take this whole front piece, it should be easy. If it's not, then you've missed a screw. But obviously, it needs to come in this direction because this piece here is gonna be in the road. So I'm just going to lift it up gently. And there you go, there's a little clip sort of back over here that needs to come undone so that I can pull it this way. There we go. All right, 
so we're going to slide this way. Make sure you've got any cotton out of your machine. I can't um, because this is locked. But anyway. All right. So this is what the inside of your machine looks like. If you don't have an air can, here's a great way to clean the inside. Grab a paintbrush and a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> should be my bigger one with the hose the one is not great but um, you don't need to be too gentle but you really want to make sure you're starting at the top coming down and getting into all of those crevices because you may as well whilst you've got it open I've already cleaned this but um, there's still more coming out everywhere so give it a couple of cleans getting in there Yeah, and make sure you do um, the back over here as well. Any kind of dust that you see, because it will help keep your machine going longer. All right, now I need to do the underneath as well. It's about ooh, that's under there. get all of this out of the road so we can work on the problem okay so it's this piece that I'm needing to fix it's not lifting the foot up and down so I can see that by turning this it turns this crank all the way along here and if I this lifts my foot up and down so I know that there's something wrong between the connection here and here um, I can't actually see too much in there, so what I need to do is remove this light and it's held on by these, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I've found the culprit. I've just moved this light out of the road. This little piece here is not attached. So all I need to do, I'm assuming that it goes up in here. I'm not sure which way. Okay, so the way that you need to put it back in is this way. So if I'm lifting up my lever, it's bringing this piece up, and then it has that click when it comes down again. 